Welcome to Digital Softics. Uh, in this session, we are going to explain you about the feasibility study in software engineering. So let's move on. So feasibility. Uh, feasibility study is an assessment of practical or proposed project or system. A feasibility aims to objectively and rationally uncover the strength and weakness of an existing. Feasibility study is a general topic uh, which is used for every project in engineering. And in every project we study the feasibility of project, whether the, so, the project is possible or not. So opportunities and threats present in the nature environment, the resources required to carry through and ultimately the perspectives for success. So in engineering, we, uh, when we going to start a project, we first study its feasibility, whether the project is possible or not. So feasibility study is uh, not uh, the study directly of a project because a project is uh, depending upon uh, resources such as time, money, people, the cost. So everything we study related to the project and compare with the project and then we going to take out the result whether the project will, uh, whether the resources will support the project or not. So in simplest terms, the two criteria to judge feasibility are cost required and value to attain. So feasibility study is the study in which we study the project uh, from different perspectives such as its time, cost, people and other attributes which are going to be used in the project. So when the feasibility report is positive and when the feasibility report tell us that the project is possible then we move towards the project and start it. If the feasibility report is uh, not uh, quite uh, give the results, so we did not going towards to start the project because a project will consume our time, cost and everything re related to the resources. So feasibility study is the study of a project, whether the project is possible or not, whether the resor available resources will support the project or not. So if the available resources such as uh, natural environment impacts um, the cost, the time, the uh, people efforts. So everything we study and we compare with the project that it is a, a support to the project or not. So the resources support to the project or not. So it's general definition of feasibility study. Let's move towards feasibility study in software engineering. Feasibility study in software engineering is the art of checking the software from different aspects such as whether the whether the software is support the current technology whether the software will work in the current environment whether the software is possible in the current cost or uh, whether the software will provide to the user given deadline terms as schedule so feasibility study is the study of our uh, different aspects of project such as the whether the software support the current technology or not so if the software does not support the current technology or the hardware available, so it's useless because when we uh, start the project, we uh, invest a lot of things, money, time, people, effort. So if the software or if the project is not supporting the current technology, so it is useless because the organization has some available technology equipments. So we make the software that if it, it will support the current technology. Be before going towards software development, so we will study the current technology available in the organization because if the, organi if the software does not support the current technology, so it may lead a very huge cost to uh, buy the technology which is supported by the software. Number second point, whether the software will work in the, uh, in the current environment, so we study the environment. So if the, if the software support the current environment or not. So we first study the environment. Uh, environment uh, contain a lot of things. So when the software, uh, software will work in the current environment or not, is people are aware about the use of software. So it contain a lot of aspects. So whether the software is possible in the current cost or not. So when uh, we estimate the cost. So if a project is completed or if a software is completed in $1,000, so we'll estimate out that whether 
the software will uh, be computed in this cost or not because uh, the software company will use the different resources such as time money cost people efforts uh, a lot of expenses others so that is why the feasibility study will study the cost estimate of the project so whether the software will provide in the user given deadline term schedule so with the help of feasibility study we schedule the software whether the software will complete uh, will compete in the given time or not the user want that he want a software in two months so the software it, it is the responsibility of software company to study these things that whether it is uh, possible or not in the given deadline so it's all about the feasibility stream so let's move towards a uh, different types of feasibility operational feasibility schedule feasibility economic feasibility and legal feasibility so operation feasibility is the study of the mayor how will the proposed system solves the problem so operation feasibility contain the different operation performed by the software and how the user problem will be solved so it contain the operational aspects of system and the task advantages opportunities identified during scope definition and, and how it satisfied the requirement uh, identify in the requirement analysis so how the requ user requirement are captured so it's all about the operational feasibility the operation feasibility contain the operations performed by the system and how the how the user requirement are captured so schedule feasibility schedule feasibility mean time time to complete the project so schedule feasibility help us to understand whether the project will be completed with the given time frame with the help of this feasibility study the company decide the deadline for the project completion so in schedule feasibility the company will first check their resources such as people available environment and other parameters and capability of their staff that that is they complete the project in the given deadline or not so schedule feasibility result the project deadline but it should be careful this is because the client cannot bear the delay with the given deadline so schedule feasibility help us to understand and help us to find that the project will be completed in the given schedule or not or we make extend the uh, deadline of the uh, software so schedule feasibility very important from the perspectives because if the company will fail to provide the uh, project and the product to the user so it may lead a lot of uh, a loss to the company because the the user want the software in the given schedule so economic feasibility economic feasibility help us to understand whether the project can be completed in the given cost or not such as cost estimation so whether the benefits from the project will be exceed from its cost uh, economic feasibility is a kind of feasibility is a kind of cost benefits analysis that how much benefits will be resulted from the project it include market analysis and scope of projects with the given market competitors project so this feasibility is very important because it tell us about the financial benefits of project so economic feasibility is the study in which we estimate the cost of the project and we find out that how much uh, benefits will take out the organization or the user from the given software product so it is also a very uh, very important uh, feasibility because it tell the uh, both the user and the developers about the economic benefits of the project so in economic feasibility we study the market analysis and the scope of the project whether the uh, organization will get benefits from the software or not so it uh, both beneficial for the user and for the uh, company also legal feasibility so uh, the feasibility help us to understand about the project legality whether the project conform the ethical legal form such as laws and regulation of others so it's the legal feasibility is important because with the project going to violating the laws or not so this feasibility is really very important from the perspective of rules and regulations so it's all about the feasibility study so in feasibility we study the different parameters for the project hope you understand it thank you